you probably have several websites that you access on a daily basis. Did you know that there's a way in Microsoft Edge to make each of those websites available with one click? They call it Favorites, and I'll show you how to use Microsoft Edge Favorites today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I am the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you how to use Favorites in Microsoft Edge. Some people aren't familiar with what this means, and it means that if there are websites that you access all the time, you're constantly going to Facebook or your email, you can create a favorite on a favorites bar. So basically it creates a button that you can click and it goes straight to that website. So you don't have to start typing the name of the website or anything like that. You go straight to that button. Even though it seems like a small amount of time that we spend typing in the web addresses to get where we're going, it actually adds up to be quite a bit of time and it makes you much more efficient if you can have those favorites ready and available to you. Today, I'll show you how to add the favorites, edit them, delete them, and then several other options that are available to you regarding favorites. We'll start by adding a basic favorite in Microsoft Edge. First, we'll go to the website that we want to make a favorite of. And then I will move my picture so that we can see a little better. We want this little star right here at the far right hand side. And it's this one, we'll talk about this one in a second, but this one here, you can see add this page to favorites is what it says when you hover. When we click this, it automatically gives you the option to name it. And here is where some tips come in that I wanna give you. Be sure to name these as short as you can. So this one, you can see it has lots of information about Asana. I would just name it Asana. Keep it really short and sweet because what we want to do is eventually get our favorites bar to have as many favorites as possible. So we can just do that one click to get straight to what we need. Here you have the option to put it somewhere other than the favorites bar. If you already have some folders created, you can feel free to use those. We do not have any created at this time. So we'll just leave it as the favorites bar. And we'll click done. And now we see the blue star, which means that this is a favorited website. So now we've added this as a favorite, but we don't see it anywhere. And so that can be really confusing. That just means that we're not currently showing our favorites bar. We can change that by going to this second star here that just says favorites when we hover over it. You click that to get your favorites menu. And it also gives all of your favorites that you would have added. And we don't have many on this computer. So let's hover over some of these options. We can see add the current tab to favorites. That's just a different way of going about what we already did. This is where you can add a folder if you need to start organizing your favorites. You can search your favorites here as well. And this three dots is what you wanna click on to see even more options. We will come back to the opening the favorites page. Here we have those same types of options, add the current tab to favorites. If you have multiple tabs open and you want all of them to be a part of your favorites, you can do them all at once. Importing and exporting, if you have been using a different web browser, say Google Chrome, and you're switching over to Edge, you can export from Google Chrome and import into Microsoft Edge. Or in the same way, if you decide to switch to another web browser from Edge, you can export from here and import into the other one. We won't go into the details of how to do that here, but that option is available. Microsoft Edge also has the feature that it can find duplicate favorites and remove those for you. And what we were looking for is this show favorites bar. And if you decide you're not gonna use favorites at all, you do have the option to hide favorites button from the toolbar. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're absolutely sure you don't want to use favorites. In this case, we're gonna choose show favorites bar. And here you can choose what you want to do. Always show that the favorites bar, never show it, or only when you open a new tab. I would like to show it always. And you can see it just popped up there. And so you can see why we wanna get these as short as possible, because then you can fit more and more on this bar and you have that one click access to all of those different websites. So I'll click done. And then it brings me back to this option here. And if I would like to pin my favorites, I can do that 
and it'll put it on the right hand side. So you have the option. You could either have it on the right hand side, you could have the bar, or you could have both or neither. Now let's look at if you needed to edit or delete a favorite. You can choose to right click and have all of those different options we were looking at before. Here's where you can delete. You can also edit. Another option is if you're on that web page, you can click on the star and we can change things from here. It automatically knows you're trying to edit since it's already a favorite. You can remove it, which is the same as deleting it. Here's where you can also change, let's say you added a new folder and you want to move it into that folder. It would show up here in our folders. And if it wasn't showing up here, this will show your most recent ones you've used. If it didn't show, you can choose another folder or go to more. And here's where it gives you all of your folder options and a choice to create a new folder if that's what you'd like to do at that moment. Next, let's look at all of the options available and a nice place to do some organizing for your favorites. We'll cancel this and we'll go here. And this is the piece that I was telling you we'd do later. Click on the dots and we're going to open our favorites page. This is just a different way of looking at what you see in the shortcut menus and on your bar. It's laid out differently and it can be easier if you're trying to create some folders. So I'll move my picture so we can see things a little bit better. And here you have that quick way to show your favorites bar if you're not seeing it, to add a favorite, and then also to add a folder. That's the powerful piece that can help you organize your favorites if you're starting to get overwhelmed. And then here you can see, if I move my picture again, we can sort our favorites by name. Um, most of the time I like to have mine in a specific order, so I don't usually do that but then you have some of the other options we've seen previously. They give you multiple different places to do the same thing. And that's just because all of us access things differently. Let's say you have a different kind of situation where you're working on a project and you want to keep things together for that project. You could create a folder. That's definitely a possibility, but Microsoft Edge has an added feature that's really neat called collections. So let's look at that next. That is this button right here. When we click on that, it'll take you through a little tutorial first telling you about what collections is supposed to be used for. And eventually you'll get to this page here. This is where you could add multiple websites that you're using towards a specific project. So instead of eating up the space in your favorites bar with all of those links, you can use this collections. Once you have this collections section up on your page, you can maneuver to a new web page and that stays put. So let's say this is something that we needed to have in this collection. Once I navigate to that website, I can say add current page. It'll add it right in there. A couple neat features of the collections is here. We can add a note about certain things. And then you have the option to send things to different places and we can do all kinds of sorting and we won't go into all the details here, but you can see there's a lot of different options. So this can be really powerful if you are using this for a project that you're working on and you can change the name instead of saying new collection, you can say whatever you need to, you can name that collection. Whether you choose to use a lot of favorites or just a few, whether you choose to use collections and not favorites at all, it's up to you. Think in advance about how this can help you and which way you want to use it. And that way you can start to think about how to organize it before you even begin. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. And if you click on that, it will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.